Okay guys, crazy night. Uh, chasing water leaks in the Mercedes W123. Uh, as you can see, I have my sunroof open. Um, I'll show you what's going on. Uh, don't mind the mess, uh, this is getting cleaned up. I'm in the middle of working on this car. Just finished putting the door panels back on and all that stuff after lubricating everything. Uh, okay, so this is what was happening. I actually thought that my uh, drains were clogged or something, but everything was good. It was all cleaned up, uh, no issues there. So, and then I just kept noticing issues. I kept noticing water leaking inside the car uh, and right here actually I'll show you there's just uh, there's just wetness and and it ended up I see some wetness on this pad and it's actually dripping down through this area and gets to the carpet yeah so the water started dripping here from this area literally it was dripping down onto the carpet and it just kept traveling backwards under the seat and blah 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 you all know that process so uh, i need to eliminate that so um since it's coming from here i thought that maybe my something's wrong with the sunroof drains but obviously before disassembling anything i you know opened the sunroof poured water in here everything was good it was draining great on both sides no issues uh and then i decided that i need to go uh further so i had to actually remove this panel i'll show you later how it comes off it's pretty easy okay obviously you have to remove your sunroof i mean um the visors and the mirror and all that stuff and there's also a clip that you have to remove right here um so i have removed that so i could get access to this area to check where this water leak is coming from so i thought maybe it's coming from this area because this actually sometimes rusts out but uh, as you can see yeah, this one is good uh, it's not rusted out that one is not rust actually it looks like maybe some old glue or whatever so but before putting it back i'll obviously uh do a rust prevention here i'll uh, spray probably fluid film uh, it's really good stuff and same thing that side it's all good uh like it's not rusted out okay so that's perfect so <laughs> and then i started looking at this gasket um windshield gasket and i don't know if it was replaced or not maybe it was but the water actually uh sits right there and it just starts dripping eventually uh down uh which is not good uh, it's pretty sad okay so uh i actually peeled it uh you know towards me and yes there's water there so uh yeah i'll have to actually dry everything out Okay, I'll have to dry everything out and uh, I will have to uh, probably uh, apply like clear silicone sealant or something like that under this gasket because I feel like this gasket is just not sitting properly because I can easily like move it and peel it back and there's like a crevice in there as well so it's probably that's why it's leaking okay so i already know the source of a leak so i'll be focusing on this gasket and then the sunroof is all good it's actually all clean over here and everything i'll lubricate the sunroof before doing anything else and make sure there's no rust if there's any rust i'll clean it up and you know do rust prevention and all that um but yeah once again working at night uh it's really late uh so but it is what it is i gotta do it um you know time flies but the job uh stays still so i need to keep going um and it's not too cold tonight which is really good um yeah and the doors are all nice and finished as you can see i did the rust prevention right there and everything so this car is uh coming along and uh, the panel uh, the upper panel that i removed from here is in the back seat i'll show you later maybe the other day how i took it off all right it's not bad there's actually a couple clips on it but uh it's not a big deal um but yeah i'm gonna uh, focus on this here i'm gonna start drying that area up and apply silicone sealant and uh, it should dry up in like 24 hours so hopefully it doesn't rain here in washington and uh can get this stuff done but yeah guys it's really important to uh, take care of your water leaks make sure there's no water so when you have your cars uh, even you know w124 w201 or other classic cars uh, you know you have to actually uh 
you have to uh, you know you lift your carpets and you have to check for water leaks it's really important okay don't look like that you know that's why these cars yes that's why the floors rust out because people don't check for water leaks it's really important okay check for water leaks dry everything out and fix your water leak okay uh, another source of water leak uh, can be clogged drains obviously um, and uh, you know possibly you know bad door seals uh, but mostly uh, these clogged drains uh, but on this one's uh, nice and clean and all good another source of leak uh, that's possible is coming from the battery uh, under the battery tray it actually rusts out but already fixed it up on this car which is uh, all good nice it's not leaking from there so that's amazing good stuff guys and then also you know this drain right there needs to be uh, clean and obviously sonar drains need to be uh, room you know blown uh out if uh, they're clogged so yeah like i said guys i'm sorry i'm shooting this in the dark but uh, there's no other chance for me uh and i just really want to share it with you so you guys know uh let me open this door okay so right there okay so you know to make sure that uh you know you check for water leaks and all that stuff okay so that water used to come all the way there all right and uh i'll be removing these uh these uh, seats and i need to uh make sure that everything is good there and do the rust prevention to the floors as well so i will be getting that done as well and what else i was gonna say yeah so tomorrow I'm gonna come back here and uh, finish working on it tonight. I'm just gonna close the sunroof probably. I'm gonna try to dry this gasket up a little bit, but uh, tomorrow I'll probably go ahead and finish the whole job. So when they installed this thing, that gasket is actually pinched in there. It's not installed properly. Maybe that could be also a problem. Like. See if I can show you somehow. Can you see that gasket right there pinched? Okay, there you go. That's why. So now I have to check this whole thing and make sure that she's good and fix it somehow. So I'll try that first before I, you know, decide to apply the sealant. Also, a couple of dates about the water leak, okay? I don't know if I filmed this video or not or whatever, but um, right here, everything is back, all right? All these panels are back, visors, mirror, lamp, everything is back, okay? And I have some good news because the water is not leaking inside anymore. It's raining like crazy today, but I'm sorry for the mess. This is going to get cleaned up, but there's literally no water in here, okay? So, look, you see my finger, right? So, usually there, there used to be water like in this area and all this used to be wet, but right now it's not, okay? So, it's really good stuff. I'm really happy about that. And here's what I did, okay? Um, so, this is not really a proper repair, but this is temporary repair, okay? So, I used um, the water leak was actually coming from here, okay? It was coming from this windshield gasket, okay? And what I did when it was dry outside is I put some uh, gasket, um, not gasket, but I put some silicone uh, in here, okay? put some silicone uh, clear silicone let it dry and I didn't put so much just a little bit okay because this gasket wasn't sealing properly and all the way and right now as soon as it's, it dried up everything was amazing there was no more leaks inside the car and both sides are dry and really nice and that's really important guys make sure you check for water leaks on your cars okay so that's all taken care of so right now I can start cleaning the floors I can start doing all this stuff all right and then preserving them